Speaker, I yield such time as he may consume to the author of the res resolution, uh, Mr. Bilirakis from Florida, member of the committee. Gentlemen, recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I rise today in support of House Resolution 1631, a resolution calling for the protection of religious sites and artifacts from and in Turkish occupied areas of northern Cyprus, as well as for general respect for religious freedom. First, I'd like to recognize my colleagues for this incredible bipartisan support. Thank you so much to Ranking Member Eliana ross Leighton and Chairman Berman, not only for the co-sponsorship, but also for assisting in fast-tracking this measure to the House floor. Also, thanks to my Hellenic Caucus co-chair, Carolyn Maloney, and all of my colleagues who have co-sponsored, including the U.S. House's strongest champion of human rights, Chris Smith. This display of bipartisanship illustrates that Congress can work together in a collegial spirit when it comes to protecting religious freedom throughout the world. As co-sponsor, co-chair of the Hellenic Caucus and a member of the International Religious Freedom Caucus, I've introduced this measure to highlight the continued violations that are taking place on the divided island nation of Cyprus. Even as Cyprus celebrates the 50th anniversary of its independence, we are reminded that roughly one-third of Cyprus continues to be under Turkish military occupation since 1974. This resolution demands that Turkey be held responsible for the continued violations of humanitarian law with respect to the destruction of religious and cultural property in Cyprus. The Turkish military, which con constitutes uh, Ill illegally occupying northern Cyprus, has overseen the systematic destruction of religious sites and the, religious loot and the illegal looting of a large number of religious and archaeological objects. When northern Cyprus was invaded, churches were left open to looters and vandals. The Turkish forces though required to secure the religious sites by several conventions to which it is a signatory, failed to do so. Around 500 churches, monasteries, cemeteries, and other religious sites belonging to Greek Cypriots, Armenians, and Maronites have been desecrated, pillaged, looted, destroyed, including one Jewish cemetery. Eighty Christian churches have been converted into mosques. 28 being used by Turkish army as stores and barracks, and many others are used for other non-religious purposes, such as coffee shops, hotels, public baths, nightclubs, stables, theaters, and barns. Since 2004, at least 15 churches have been leveled, such as St. Catherine's Church in the dis district of Famagusta, which was, the, was bulldozed in mid-2008. Additionally, the Church of the Holy Virgin in the site of uh, Trajonas was used as a dancing studio until the Turkish occupiers built a, a road that destroyed part of it in March 2010, and the Church of Templars was converted into a nightclub. These are a few examples of the destruction that has been overseen by the Turkish military, if not directly perpetrated by it. Mr. Speaker, this resolution urges the government of Turkey to immediately implement the United Nations Security Council resolutions relevant to Cyprus, as well as the judgments of the European Court of Human Rights by retrieving and restoring all lost artifacts and immediately halting, halting destruction on religious sites, stopping illegal archaeological excavations, and ceasing to traffic in icons and antiquities. Further. Proper preservation and reconstruction of destroyed or altered religious sites must immediately take place, and all restrictions on freedom of religion for the enclave Cypriots must end. Mr. Speaker, I hope the beginning of the next 50 years of Cyprus's statehood is marked by the immediate removal of the Turkish occupation troops, followed by immediate reunification of the island nation in which respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms for all Cypriots is a reality. I urge swift passage of this resolution. Thank you, Mr. Sp Thank you, Madam Speaker.